Welcome on Blue Line Box Breaks. This is Mogwai. This is my 149th break, I believe it is, of 1213 Limited. Let me get the eBay up. This was uh, finished selling today, June 6, 2013, <clears throat> at 6.29 Pacific Daylight Time. Last team sold was the Winnipeg Jets as I try to keep them in alphabetical order. Let me get you the current eBay time. Refresh that bad boy. As you see it's June 6th. Uh, it's 8.07 Pacific Daylight Time. Pull up me my winner's list. There we go. We had one un unsold team. That was Phoenix Coyotes, which I don't mind too bad. But we've got Boston Sean, Saber Stuff, Kieto, The Plague, Daniel's Dad, Revolution 10. Going down, we've got Charlie Hanna. we got Dino. we got Jackula. Continue on, Phoenix Coyotes went on sold, so I'll be keeping those. Going down and finishing off with Charlie Hanna. Everyone that's new to my breaks, welcome. There we go. We got our factory seal box of cards here. The Panini's uh, covering it, so I'm going to do my best. I uh, better just trim that away. To, uh, I actually rubbed it off. There we go. We got the 191026537. Just as I advertised, and of course, factory sealed. No funny stuff happens around here. No video editing or anything like that. Once the box serial is shown, it will never be cut, ever. Good luck, everybody. Has been a pretty decent product this year. I've had a several good boxes of it. We got our. Pop-Tart, put the pack right there, empty box, and once again, good luck everybody. We'll start out with the bronze base going to the Detroit Red Wings of Brennan Smith. And that one is numbered 31 of 299. There you go. That's right, so a real thicky. I'll put that one on the bottom. We have a redemption. It's a limited uh, rookie's redemption, card number nine. Going to the Dallas Stars. If it will focus. Come on. There we go. Dallas Stars. There you go. We have a Phenoms going to the Edmonton Oilers. A Philippe Cornet. I kind of like these cards even though they're a manufactured patch. And that one is numbered 33 of 499. And that bottom corner right here has got a minor ding to it. Can hardly tell. There you go, Oilers. Ooh, I like this one personally. We have a private signings for the Pittsburgh Penguins and a minor PC of mine of Tom Barrasso. Didn't like their jerseys during that time period, but I remember sitting up watching these... Uh, those games as they won the Stanley Cup. Now we have a Back to the Future. 
We got Dustin Brown on the front. And Bernie Nichols on the back. Or vice versa. Yep, this is the back. And that one is numbered 43 of 199. There you go, Kings. The Kings have another hit. We have a limited dual die cut acetate of Jonathan Quick. And that one is numbered 23. Let's see, let me grab a spacer here. May make it easier. It's 23 of 99. Uh, it's still not focusing. Acetates are hard to focus on. There you go, Kings. Now we have <clears throat> a net assets. And this one, I believe, is going to have to be randomed. Let me just check the teams. Yes, it will be. Of Claude Giroux and Patrick Kane. Two jerseys and net piece in there. And that net piece is sticking out of the card a little bit. And that's numbered 77 of 99. So I'll have to random that off between the two teams. And the teams were owned by Philly was Kieto. And the Blackhawks were the plague. So I'll use my trusty 30-sided dice for this because I hate using random.org. It's just a pain to set up and everything. We'll do evens and odds. 30-sided dice. Philly gets evens. Odds get are the uh, Blackhawks. Good luck, you two. Roll the dice. And it's eight. So Philly gets that card. Congratulations, Kieto. That'll be coming your way. I'll have to double check, see if I have any uh, 10 count boxes since these are so thick. If not, I'll have to pick one up. Well, thanks for joining me on my in my break. Right now I do have a three box. The Luxury Suite, the Elite, and the Zenith. It's random teams, $9 a slot up for sale on my website. I will link you in the email if you're interested. Also, uh, today, this is something totally different from the break. There has been a eBay scammer uh, brought to light. He goes by the name of Blue Line Breaks. He is not associated with me in any shape or form. And if you haven't seen the video, I will play it real quick for you. Let me just get it pulled up. And it's very questionable break practices, in my opinion. But I will be changing my break name. My web, uh, my eBay name will stay the same, though. And so you can expect the same breaks from me. And actually, before I do this, I forgot. I do my no-hit bonus. I'm kind of aggravated. This break will be this Phenoms of Calvin DeHaan. This will go to a team that did not receive a hit. And I will use my 30 side dice again. The teams are, let me pull that back up. Each team has a number associated with it from 1 to 30. And whatever team it lands on will get uh, that card if their team did not receive a hit. If it lands on a team that did receive a hit, we will drop down one until we find a team without a hit. Good luck, everybody. It's a rolling. Number 10. Number 10 was the Red Wings. They received a hit, so we'll drop down one. The Oilers, they received a hit, so we'll go down to the Florida Panthers. They did not receive a hit, so Boston Sean will be receiving that Calvin DeHaan Phenoms. 
Now back to where I was discussing earlier about this scammer eBay breaker. I personally don't like talking bad about breakers just because it's bad for business, but when a bad apple gets shown, I will tell everybody about them. So I'll just go ahead and let this uh, video play for a minute and let you decide your own things. I will comment through it. Hey everyone, welcome to Wednesday, June 5th, eBay box break of 12-13 in the game Ultimate. Oilers were the last team to end. Ended June 5th at 20, or sorry, June 5th, 2013 at 22 20, 39 Eastern Time. Here is the list. Your names are beside the teams you own in this break. Okay, if you didn't notice, the camera stuttered here at the roughly the 42nd spot. It was cut and edited. I'll rewind it and play it again. Red shirt, black shirt. Among the many of other things wrong with this video. It's just, yeah, it's not, and this guy is no way associated with me, but I will be changing my uh, break name from Blue Line to something else here in the next days. And, uh, yeah, but expect the same quality breaks from me and 100% legit as always. I'm not going to bother letting this play through because it's just bad. So, uh, please don't associate me with him, because we are the diff two different people. I'm in Tucson, Arizona, and he's in Branford, Ontario, I believe this uh, city was. And I hope to see you in my next breaks. And everyone have a good evening.